So in your essays, you need to replace you and your with a person and a persons for a more professional tone. Here's an example I will give you of someone's essay in which they have to correct this you and your because when you use you and your, you sound too conversational, you sound too informal. We use you and your when we want to talk directly to the reader, as in business writing. But when we do academic writing, we want to sound pro professional and objective. And as a result, when we do academic writing, we need to use third-person case, he, she, and they. So that way we sound more like a researcher writing about others. This can get confusing because we're doing narrative essays right now. But I want to drill into your heads, as the essay writer puts it, the idea that you and your is too conversational for academic writing, but using a person and a persons is a much better choice for academic writing. So here I you know, replace the you and your for this particular essay. So here it is when it sounds conversational. I want my kids to make a decision they are proud of and don't regret because sometimes the consequence to your decision sometimes turns out being a consequence you can't handle. So here I wrote, I want my kids to make decisions they are proud of and don't regret because um, they, um, they can't handle. So that means that the major decisions that they make in life when they are young can have a significant impact on their life. I also want to teach them that the person that they like at 16 is not going to be the same person that they like at 23. And that getting married at a young age, even though you feel like it's a good decision at the time, is not really a good decision because uh, as a result, the, the um, marriage partner that they choose to marry will greatly impact their life and how prosperous they will be. I want my children to learn from my mistakes so they do not struggle the same way I did. One of the ways I can encourage them to, better, to do better than me is by telling my children to date a lot of people and not just one person for a long time. In order to find a person or a partner that will fit in with their lifestyle. Okay, so here I'm replacing all the you and yours with their. Um, so in order to find a partner that will fit in with their lifestyle, they should go on multiple dates so they can decide whom they like and whom they don't like in person. Also, going on different dates with, with different people keeps them, uh, uh, will, will give, give them some perspective on how other people are and that they should only become attached to one person at a time. My hope is by supporting them in, in telling them to go out with different people that they will build trust and, commu com and communication with each other. So I am able to understand their concerns, wants, and needs. I plan on going on individual dates with my kids so, we have, so that they have time, uh, to, alone time with me where it's just the two of us and um, we can talk about what is going on in their lives. While on these dates, I will talk to them about the importance of picking a partner. I will tell them they need to be selective in who they are choosing to spend their free time with. A quote I love is, show me your friends and I will show you your future. So the only time you can use you and your is when you're quoting someone. I will stress the importance of hanging out with people uh, they incur and I will encourage them to do better. I did not have this mind frame when I was young and it did not turn out well for me when I married young. I also want them to know that if they choose to follow their feelings and possibly get married at a young age, they could end up being a single parent. Being a single parent makes life so much harder. I had to do everything. I had to be the mom, the dad, the nurse, the nurturer, and the disciplinarian. I had to figure out daycare. I, was, I had to figure out their homework and bedtime routine. Being a single parent is hard and puts an unnecessary strain on my life. So choosing the right partner to procreate is the most important thing a person will ever do. 
This is the greatest lesson I can give my kids. I hope they, they heed my instruction and trust that I know what I am talking about. That falling in love at a young age is dangerous. I hope that they choose not to have kids at a young age and that they choose to be financially stable before they choose to have children. Teenagers think they know everything, but in reality, teenagers know nothing about real life and about the trials and tribulations of real life. So as a result, as a parent, I will drill into my children's heads that choosing the right partner in life is crucial in order to have success and in order to be comfortable in life. So I read through her whole um, essay using you and your so that the convert so that the essay sounds less conversational. Then I wrote a written uh, transcript next to it. As you can see, it's right here in the feedback. So um, next time that this person writes an essay, then this person can use you and your to sound more professional and more believable and credible to the reader. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me.